Hey everyone, um, Andy here, and I hope this finds you all well. Um, I've had some questions in regards to the kind of toolkit that's required to start carving spoons, and um, I wanted to kind of break it down into the most like simple form, condensed form, um, and I think I've got it down to four tools that I think you'll really, really need to get started carving a spoon comfortably. Um, the first one is an axe. Um, this is a specialized carving axe, but you don't need a specialized carving axe. Any small hatchet, um, something with a flat grind is best, but if you're just getting started, whatever you can find, as long as it feels comfortable and it feels safe in the hand, that's honestly the most important thing. Um, second thing that's really nice to have is a saw. So I have a little foldable saw that's really handy, a pull saw. Um, basically, you know, if you happen to be processing some wood or cutting in stop cuts, which um, I'll cover in another video, but it's a really handy thing to do, uh, to use. I know that a lot of people use an axe for certain things, but a saw is a nice way to get started. It's a much cleaner, um, I think it's slightly safer. Uh, it keeps your hands away from the, the blade. Um, but yeah, that's that would be another thing that I think is really important to have. Um, the third thing is what's called commonly a sloyd knife. Um, and the again, the important thing about this is that it feels comfortable in the hand, you feel safe using it. Um, what really does help is the grind, and that sets a sloyd knife aside from a lot of other types of knives. And a sloyd knife has what's called a scandy grind, which essentially means that there isn't a secondary bevel right at the edge. Um, it's one continuous bevel, and it just gives you the ability to do some really nice planing cuts. It doesn't want to dive into the wood when it carves. Um, and then the last, which I think kind of sets spoon carving aside in a sense of specialty tools, is a hook knife. Now this is a pretty, this is a pretty overkill knife for anyone just starting up. This is um, a large hook knife called a tooker cam. It's a Welsh style hook knife. Um, there are lots of much smaller, different shapes, different sizes, um, but something basically that you use, I'm sorry, I hope you can see that, that you can use to, um, to hollow out the bowl. And that's, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you get the curve in the, um, in the bowl? And that's this knife specifically. So, um, yeah, I think with those four tools, and again, you can, you can pick up whatever you find just to get started. Um, the hook knife can often be the one that's trickiest to find, but there are a bunch of retailers that do stock them or specialty carpentry stores or small um, hardware stores. Uh, you can always jump online and just type in hook knife and you know putting together a really affordable kit for carving spoons is actually it's really easy. Um, it doesn't require a lot of dust, a lot of noise. It's a really meditative thing to do. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of sharing some more, you know, insight into the different tools that you can use. Um, in a later video, I'm planning on doing a full breakdown of all of my tools, which is going to be quite a long video. Um, and I'll talk about the different makers and different places that you can reach out to other makers um, to access these tools. But in the meantime, I hope this has given you a bit of a, a bit of an idea of what's needed. And um, yeah, I hope this finds you well. I also just wanted to mention thank you so much for being here. Um, if you like what you see, um, consider subscribing um, and liking the videos. It really does make a difference. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again.